Shalom. Ko halam la alahayana wa yahawu ba shimia wa shai ba shimra kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Allah coming to you with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled So-Called White People Are Not From The Line Of Japheth. Right? So, Salagia. Lucky, yeah, man. Good Lord. Right. So, uh, you know, once again, Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled The So Called White People Are Not From the Line of Japheth. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, let me see something really quick. Let me go down. Let's see. Right, so uh, I have this this uh, picture, right, which is a, which is the genealogy from Noah to the twelve patriarchs. Right, so let me see. Let me go to. Let me go there. Let me go Genesis ten. So this is the book of Genesis, the tenth chapter and the first verse, and it reads: Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah. Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood, right? So you have the line of Shem, you have the line of Ham, and you have the line of Japheth, which which Shem is where you get the term Shemitic, which they say Semitic, but it's really Shemitic. You have Hamitic, and you have Japhetic, right? You know, so, which this is, I mean, because you, you have in, uh, particular individuals out here that contain the belief that, you know, so-called white people are from the line of Japheth, which is complete bullshit, which is obvious, man. Esau is the so-called white man, and Esau is Jacob's brother. Now, if Jacob is from the line of Shem, the Esau is from the line of Shem. They're brothers, man. So the, what this post show, uh, what this picture shows, it shows basically the line that the Lord is dealing with, right? But it also brings out the fact that Esau is from the line of Shem, right? Because you see Shem's line, you see Japheth's line. And you see Ham's line, right? In Shem's line, you see Esau, which is the so-called white man indeed, man. And how do we know that? Let's prove it. This is the book of Job, the ninth chapter and the 24th verse. It reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, so there's a nation of people classified as the wicked, which is the nation of Esau, man. Right, the Edomites. How do we know that? Well, let's go to Malachi, the first chapter. This is uh, Malachi, the first chapter. Salakia, let me put it up, pull it up in the blue letter. Right, Malachi 1 and 1. And it reads, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, when as thou loved us, was not Esau Jacob's brother. Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. See that? So the Edomites are the nation of people classified as the wicked. Which Esau, oh shit, my fucking phone is about to die. Good Lord. <laughs> I can't have that happen, man. Right? 
So uh, when you read the book of Second Edges, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse, it shows you that Esau is the one who would be ruling in the last in the latter times, which we already covered. Because when you when you look at who's running the earth, the so-called white man. Which is Esau, you know? <clears throat> Which he's not white, he's really red. Second Edges 6 and 9, it reads, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See that? Right? So, you know... Which, I mean, really that, that, that proves it, you know, but I, it's a lot here, let me see. Genesis 10, okay. Genesis 4, bear with me. Genesis 5. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Shalakia. Shalakia for the noise in the background. Right, let me see something. Damn, man. Right, so uh, right, so uh, let me read this again. Genesis 10 and 1. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. Now when you go down to Shem, let me see. Dealing with the line of Shem, this is uh, verse 21. Unto Shem also the father of all the children of Eber, which Ebra goes back to the word Ibar, which is where you get the word Hebrew. The brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were uh, children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxad begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons, the name of, the, the name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Jokdan, and Jokdan begat Almadad, and Shalep, and Hazar, and Hazar Maveth, and Jirah, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Digla, and Obal, and Abimael, and Shabbat, and Ophir, and Havalah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Jokdan. <clears throat> and their dwelling was from Masha, or Mesha. As thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east, these are the children. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, and their lands, after their nations. Bear with me. And uh, dealing with Peleg. Right in the Hebrew, Peleg is Pelag, which means division. And why? Why is that? Well, because. Well, I'll say Peleg. Or Pelag was born when the Most High really divided all the nations, which you read, or which you see when you read Genesis the eleventh chapter. Right, because that was during the time of the confounding of the languages. <laughs> Right, so that word Peleg goes back to Pelag, which means division. Which that also shows you that, you know, well, I'll say this, a part of our culture as Hebrew Israelites, you know, our names had meaning. You know, <coughs> right? That's a part of our culture. Right, names had meaning. You know, just to mention that. But let me see, uh, 11. 
Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so let me see. This is the book of Genesis, the 11th chapter and the 10th verse. And it reads, these are the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begat Arphaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad 500 years and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and 30 years and begat Salah. <laughs> right? And that's that line that the Lord was dealing with went from Arphaxad to Salah. Right? And then Salah to Eber, Eber to Peleg, Peleg to Ru, Ru to Sarug, Sarug to Nahor, Nahor to Terah, Terah to Abraham, so on and so forth. But I'm going to just read it. Genesis 11 and uh, 13. And our facts said, lived after he begat Salah 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Salah lived 30 years and begat Eber. And Salah lived after he begat Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. Verse 17. And Eber lived after. Salah here. 16. And Eber lived four and 30 years and begat Peleg. Jump it down to 18. And Peleg lived 30 years and begat Ru. Which you see that here. Peleg to Ru. Is where that line continued. Verse 20, and Ru lived two and thirty years and begat Sarug. 22, verse 22, and Sarug lived thirty years and begat Nahor. 24, and Nahor lived nine and twenty years and begat Terah. 26, and Terah lived seventy years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Right? You see that? And this is the line of Shem. You see? Verse 28. And Haran died before his father to run in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. Bear with me. Bear with me, I'm trying to find this. Okay, Genesis 17 and 19, and it says, And the Most High said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant. And with this seed after him. And then of course we know that Isaac. Begat Jacob and Esau. Right. So Esau is from the line of Shem. Not Japheth. And we already. Um, you know broke down how Esau. Is the so called white man. Right. So. Uh, that's pretty much the point. With that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again, and forever, all praises.
honor and glorification unto our power. Call Halaim La Alahayan Awa Yahweh Ba Shimi Awa Shai Ba Shimrakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Ba Shimi Awa Shai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh Ba Shimi Awa Shai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba. Watch Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp. Keep pushing.